Hmm. You look like you have some skill. I have a favor to ask of you. A hulking man calling himself Benke has been appearing on Gojo Bridge at night. He attacks every samurai he sees and claims the arms and armor of those he's beaten. Did you have to say it out loud? My reputation would suffer if this were to become public knowledge. That's why I'm seeking help in a place like this. If you can defeat that man and recover my possessions, you'll be well rewarded. Excellent. Now I'd thank you to see to it promptly. Just take care to be discreet. Don't breathe a word of this to a single soul or bring anyone with you. All those who are desert, give me air! All those who are nigh, bear witness. Benke is my name. Come! Who dares to battle with me? Did somewhat rashly, and yet I regret that thing. However good your gun, you might as well be wielding a club if you can't hit anything. All right.
you're quite the shot, huh? Consider me impressed. Have you got something to say to me? Hey, that's the spirit. I had... Hello there. Everyone still has a bit of a loss after what happened with Genzui. Now we're allied with the Satsuma. The time is ripe. I need to pull myself together. Speaking of the Satsuma, one of their men demanded a duel some time ago. It was quite a while back. Do you remember? I'm embarrassed. That means a lot coming from here. Katsura, there's just no way we can ascend to this. You want us to join forces with those who drove Kusaka to his death? I assure you, it pains me too. I didn't expect you to come around to the idea just like that. Which is why I prepared a banquet for us with the Satsuma. On their end, Okubo will take the lead. Kuroda's lot will be attending too. It'll be a good chance to see if they're worthy of our trust. Don't you think? Very well then. I shall take the measure of the Satsuma and decide for myself. If possible, I'd like you to attend as well. What do you say? Good. I've made arrangements at the place nearby. Come by later.
Right. Let's go. All Kubo of the Satsuma is running late, it seems. However, I did see the man who sent me that letter. This is a hot-blooded gathering. It'll be interesting to see how this unfolds. Sorry for the wait. Let's begin, shall we? Katsura, remember that jewel we had? I have to say, I was rather disappointed at the time. You had no clue who I was, but let me go free. Too soft for a samurai. And now we are to stand shoulder to shoulder. We, Satsuma, despair. You're a fool! Katsura sees further into the future than either of us. If he let you go free, he had a good reason! It didn't really take much. And that's why you let me go. Because you were afraid of earning the ire of the Satsuma. Utter cowardice. You there. Yamagata, was it? If you dislike what we have to say, come and silence us with your fists. Perhaps then I'll reconsider. I'd be only too delighted. I don't need a weapon to take down the likes of you. You'll soon regret disrespecting Katsura and the Choshu. Hey, cut it out! Uh, I don't think there's any stopping this now. I swear if Okubo has my head for this. Don't worry. Just let them have at it. Remains unshakable. One wrong move is all it takes for a cause to come crashing down. You should know this. You're strong. When you're supposed to be a coward. Well, if I don't maintain a certain standard, how can I expect anyone to follow me? <sighs> I thought you were all talk, but you're not bad. I, too, underestimated your strength. Katsura. I ask you, forgive my rudeness just now. <laughs> Sobering up, are we? I'm glad you put on this feast. It was worth it just to see that tussle. Overthrowing the Shogunate won't be the end of it. We'll need good, reasonable men like Katsura here to right the course of our nation. Thank you, everyone. Now... Let's get back to enjoying the feast! My apologies for dragging you along to this. But I have to say, seeing you fight never fails to impress. In fact, that particular display made me want to try my luck. Why not go around with me? I'll be waiting out back for you. Right, let's begin. I like to think I know your opinion better than anyone. That's to say, I won't hold back. I'm starting to warm up. Let's run 
another room. No. That way. I'll never stop. Nakamura. And I see Okubo has finally arrived. Hmm. I see from that jewel you aren't as soft as I thought. Your resolve is clear for all to see. Did you plan this little display from the start? Of course not. I just fancied brushing up on my sword play. I'm delighted you enjoyed what you saw. Regardless. A likely story. <laughs> well, as your partner in this alliance, I liked what I saw. I warn you. I intend to rely on your sword arm. <sighs> I can't believe Okubo and the others were watching. <sighs> Thanks to that unexpected audience, it seems the Alliance will hold a little longer. The nights worked out beautifully, thanks to you. Though it was hard to ignore Nakamura's provocations at first. Honestly, I have my own doubts about whether doing things my way will really be able to change Japan. I do have a vision, and everyone's been good enough to follow me. But behind closed doors, I worry all the time. What's your opinion? Am I doing things the right way? Thank you. If that's what you think, I have nothing to fear.
will begin once Ito's men are here. This is your first official mission. Is there anything you need to ask? Good. That saves me some trouble. Tordor and his companions are masters of the sword. This will be quite the fight. Are you fully prepared? Good. We'll ambush them as they return. Let's go. You should have put them to sleep. So you've come. But you never read my brother! Don't rush. Take your time. I wonder how you use it. Thanks for your patronage. Think you out with me, do you? <laughs> <laughs> To your own good. Your name is Captain Kondo. I will mete out your punishment. I have fought 
You had some sense. I was wrong. You're just another samurai who can't let go of the past. for your own good. It made you think all those around you were fools. Which is why you couldn't bear to serve under Kondo. So earnestly devoted to the Shogunate. I'm lucky I had you covering my flank. With that, we've excised a cancer from the Shinsengumi. I don't know who you are, but it's time to stop pretending you're one of us. You don't need to apologize to me. Nagakura seems to have taken a liking to you, though. See you around.
Ah, it's you. Some news. We confirmed that the gang from the other day was indeed connected to Serizawa. That's not all. Nagakura and Todo did some digging and ran the Terrari sumo restaurants for Serizawa's people as well. Ah. Serizawa told us we were of the same mind when it came to serving the Shogun. He bolstered the Shinsengumi's forces with his many connections. In him, I thought we'd found an ally we could depend on. <sighs> but his acts of extortion and drunken debauchery have simply gone too far. We can no longer leave Kamo Serizawa unchecked. He and his men shall be put to death. If the name of the Shinsengumi is sullied, even Lord Katamori will wash his hands of us. How, then, will we samurai fulfill our duty of serving the Shogunate? We will not tolerate anyone who threatens the public order of Kyoto, even if they may be a member of the Shinsengumi. Lord Katamori has already approved of our decision. It is now up to us to see the act through. This will be bloody. Serizawa's people are skilled. I hope you will fight on our side. Good. With your help, there's no way we can fail. We already know where to find them. They're having a meal at one of their regular haunts. Then that's where we'll go. Come. This way. I thought we were comrades, and so I let him go unpunished. But that man has gone too far! Those are Serizawa's rakis. The courses of him to post a picket at a banquet. I'm surprised. Have you no sense of pride? That's no ordinary item. This I can vouch. I can't let you live. 
I will send you to the hereafter, along with your dusty old dreams. those who studied the Shinsengumi's name. There is no going back. Any samurai who disgraces our way of life will suffer the bloody consequences. How can there be justice otherwise? I don't care what changes sweep through our society. I am a samurai, and I shall protect what that entails. And thus, the Shinsengumi shall follow. In the world we live in, you may have to exchange blows with your former comrades someday. Prepare yourself for when that time comes. <laughs> of course you have. Don't know what I was thinking reminding you of all people. There are times you'll have to dispense with your emotions to stay true to the life you've chosen. That's just the nature of the world we live in. We've taken care of Kamo Serizawa and his followers, Lord Katamori. Hmm. Splendid. You have done what a good leader must, Kondo. I am pleased. Thank you for the gracious compliment, sir. The Shinzungumi will only grow more important in the days to come. I hope I can count on your continued dedication to serving your shogunate and country. Yes, sir! As you heard, the Shinzungumi will continue to uphold the true meaning of what it is to be samurai. But I am under no illusion that things will always be this way. I am an old-fashioned man. There will come a time when my way of thinking is obsolete. Should that time come, I hope you too will still wear the Shinsengumi name with pride. Even that would be of great comfort to me. A useless train of thought. You are in no danger of becoming obsolete as long as I am around. <laughs> You're a reliable one, Toshi. Please, just remember. I would gladly die for what I believe in, but... I have no intention of taking either of you with me. I realize it's not my place to ask you this, but if anything were to happen to me, I hope you will be there for Toshi and Soji. Ah, thank you. You have lifted a weight off my shoulders. None of this would have been possible without you. I have no doubt that we will need your help in the future. Toshi and Soji are like little brothers to me. You are like a friend beyond compare. I know it may not be what you want to hear, but I am speaking my truth. I hope you'll help us again if we need you. Thank you.
I've tried everything I can think of. I suppose I've done about all I can. It's tuberculosis. It's actually been one of my better days. When it's bad, I can't even bring myself to stand upright. Sir, we finally found some. There's a certain apothecary said to be selling medicine for tuberculosis. Apparently, it's made by a foreign woman. Medicine for tuberculosis? <laughs> Sounds too good to be true. And besides, it's too late for me now. <laughs> Disappointed in me, are you? When I lost my physical prowess, I was brimming with bitterness. I wished I could spend more time with my comrades. I wished I could face down death with my blade. But no matter my efforts, the sickness wouldn't heal. Which is why I wanted you to think I'd given up. But if there is medicine, I want to take my chance that it works. I too want you to live, sir. I'll go out and buy the medicine now, so please wait here. No. I'll go with you. As I said, this is one of my better days. And I would like to take this medicine as soon as possible. If anything should happen, I'll be there to support you, sir. Right then, shall we head to Apothecary now? Excellent, glad to hear it. I'll show you the way. Please, follow me. Hey! Where did you learn about this medicine? Ronan told me about it. He must have caught wind somewhere that I've been looking for medicine. You would do this for me. Thank you. Just a little further. We're here!
Hello? Is anyone home? in my way. Finish. Kawakami. I wanted to finish you off myself. But it seems your death is inevitable either way. Get after him! I've heard the whole story. What happened to Rintaro was a tragedy. You used to trade in medicine, didn't you, Hishikata? Can you take a look at this for me? There seems to be something written on it in English, but I can't quite make it out. A shame, given my family's ties to the trade. Hmm. What are you planning to do with this? Don't tell me. I won't allow this sickness to put me in a position where I can't help a comrade again. And as long as I'm in this state, I'd rather bet it all on the medicine working. Your seal of approval. I can take it without worry. Right then. Bottoms up. Well, it doesn't seem like it's poison at any rate. If 
is a real thing. It'll be some time before it takes effect. If you start to feel any worse, be sure to tell us right away. Thank you for keeping me company through all this. I owe you my thanks. Hello there. I've got a fine selection of wares. Curious what's inside? I <laughs> Many thanks. How about letting off a shell? Or three. Nearly all of my cats have come home safely, and there is not a bruised or sick one among them. It is a dream come true. Thank you for all your hard work. I am sure that my cats would thank you themselves if they could. I can only imagine how headish the outside world must seem to them. In any case, I hope they have learned their lesson. Indeed, I would be surprised if they ran away again. But you know, one may find happiness in confinement. At least, it is preferable to starving or having no place to go. Naturally, I cannot speak for anyone but myself. I may have status in Yoshiwara right now, but there will come a day when my charms will have faded. Most of us courtesans have never known another life. We will never know freedom or the comfort of a true home. If we were to be turned out on our own, we would surely die. For cold are the winds of this floating world. That is why, if I were to become a cat, I would simply stay here. It would be nice. <laughs> but I fear I am being rather silly. Please, forget everything I just said.
It's time for you to die. I am grateful for your assistance. Please accept this small token.